International Standard ISO IEC 11801 Information Technology Generic cabling for customer premises specifies general purpose telecommunication cabling systems that are suitable for a wide range of applications. It covers both balanced copper cabling and optical fiber cabling. The standard was designed for use within commercial premises that may consist of either a single building or of multiple buildings on a campus. It was optimized for premises that span up to 3 kilometers, up to 1 square kilometer office space with between 50 and 50,000 persons, but can also be applied for installations outside this range. A major revision, Edition 3, is being prepared which will unify requirements for commercial, home and industrial networks, classes and categories. The standard defines several link, channel classes and cabling categories of twisted pair copper interconnects, which differ in the maximum frequency for which a certain channel performance is required. Class A Link channel up to 100 kHz using Category 1 cable connectors. Class B Link channel up to 1 MHz using Category 2 cable connectors. Class C Link channel up to 16 MHz using Category 3 cable connectors. Class D Link channel up to 100 MHz using Category 5 V cable connectors. Class E, link, channel up to 250 MHz using Category 6 cable, connectors. Class H, link, channel up to 500 MHz using Category 6A cable, connectors. Class F, link, channel up to 600 MHz using Category 7 cable, connectors. Class FA, link, channel up to 1000 MHz using Category 7A cable, connectors. Class 1, link, channel up to between 1600 MHz and 2000 MHz using Category 8.1 cable, connectors. Class 2, link, channel up to between 1600 MHz and 2000 MHz using Category 8.2 cable, connectors. The standard link impedance is 100 ohms. The standard defines several classes of optical fiber interconnect. OM1, multimode fiber type 62.5 micrometers core, minimum modal bandwidth of 200 megahertz km at 850 nanometers. OM2, multimode fiber type 50 micrometers core, minimum modal bandwidth of 500 megahertz K emit 850 nanometers. OM3, multimode fiber type 50 micrometers core, minimum modal bandwidth of 2000 megahertz K emit 850 nanometers. OM4, multimode fiber type 50 micrometers core, minimum modal bandwidth of 4700 megahertz K emit 850 nanometers. OS1 single mode fiber type 1 decibel per kilometer attenuation OS2 single mode fiber type 0.4 decibels per kilometer attenuation category 7 class F channel and category 7 cable are backward compatible with class D category 5E and class E category 6 Class F features even stricter specifications for cross-door and system noise than Class E. To achieve this, shielding has been added for individual wire pairs and the cable as a whole. Besides the shield, the twisting of the pairs and number of turns per unit length increases RF shielding and protects from cross-talk. The Category 7 cable standard has been created to allow 10 gigabit Ethernet over 100 meters of copper cabling. The cable contains four twisted copper wire pairs, just like the earlier standards. Category 7 cable can be terminated either with 8P8C compatible GG45 electrical connectors which incorporate the 8P8C standard or with Terra connectors.
When combined with GG45 Atera connectors, Category 7 cable is rated for transmission frequencies of up to 600 MHz. As of November 2010, all manufacturers of active equipment have chosen to support the 8P8C for their 10 gigabit Ethernet products on copper and not the GG45 ARJ45 or Terra in order to function on CAT6A. Category 7 is not recognized by the TIA EIA. Category 7A, Class FA channels and Category 7A cables, introduced by ISO 11801 addition to amendment 2 are defined at frequencies up to 1000 MHz, suitable for multiple applications including CATV. Each pair offers 1200 MHz of bandwidth. Simulation results have shown that 40 Gigabit Ethernet may be possible at 50 meters and 100 Gigabit Ethernet at 15 meters. In 2007, researchers at Pennsylvania State University predicted that either 32 nanometers or 22 nanometers circuits would allow for 100 Gigabit Ethernet at 100 meters. Category 7A is not recognized in TIA EIA 568. In March 2013, technical recommendation ISO IEC TR 1180199-1 issued by ISO IEC JTC1 Computer Interconnect and Premises Cabling Group SC25 WG3 defined two new categories for four pair copper twisted pair cable with two connectors, with operating frequency up to 1.6 GHz and possible overhead for 2.0 GHz, class 1 channel, minimum cable design U, FTP or F, UTP, fully backward compatible and interoperable with class each using 8P8C connectors. Class 2 channel, F, FTP or S, FTP minimum, interoperable with Class FA using 8P8C Etera, GG45, ARJ45 connectors. Also in March 2013, technical recommendation TIA TR42.7 defined that 4OGBASET will require a new cabling system defined to at least 1.6 GHz and up to 2 GHz. Gigahertz, currently called Category 8, which will use the standard 8P8C connector. Category 8 should be fully backward compatible with Category 6 A and below, and will be covered by ANSI TIA 568C. 2 to 1 specifications for 100 ohms Category 8K bowling. As of January 2014, draft versions of ISO IEC TR 1180199-1 and ANSI TIA 568C 2 to 1 have been aligned to reduce the difference between categories 8, 8.1 and 8.2. The final specifications will depend on transceiver requirements to be defined by IEEE 802.3 BQ Workforce. Acronyms for Twisted Pairs, Annex E, Acronyms for Balanced Cables, provides a system to specify the exact construction for both unshielded and shielded balanced twisted pair cables. It uses three letters, U for unshielded, S for braided shielding, and F for foil shielding, to form a two-part abbreviation in the form of XXXTP, where the first part specifies the type of overall all cable shielding, and the second part specifies shielding for individual cable elements. Common cable types include U, UTP, UFDP, F, UTP, S, UTP, or SF, UTP, and F, FDP, S, FDP, or SF, FDP.
Edition 3, Edition 3, currently being prepared by ISO IEC JTC 1 SC 25, Interconnection of Information Technology Equipment, is a major revision of the standard which will unify several prior standards for commercial, home, and industrial networks, as well as data centers, and define requirements for generic cabling and distributed building networks. The new series of standards will include six parts, versions, ISO, IEC 11801-1995 first edition, ISO, IEC 11801-2000 edition 1, amendment 1. ISO, IEC 11801-2002 second edition, ISO, IEC 11801-2008 edition 2, amendment 1, ISO, IEC 11801-2010 edition 2, amendment 2. ISO, IEC 11801-ED-3, 